Let's take a look at the second code example. So uh, here we see an example of what I talked about earlier of nesting one function inside of another function. So let's first look at the inside function here. It's an input function. So it is going to prompt the user by saying, what is your number? Now, we got a little picky about spaces in the last example. One of the things that I've learned is when you put an input statement, it does not automatically leave a space between what you prompt the user with and the place where the person types. So if you want there to be a space after the question mark, you have to actually put that in the prompt string. So it'll prompt the user, then whatever they type in will be passed into the float, um, Op, the float function as its argument. And remember, the float function is the one that takes strings um, and turns them into numbers with decimal points. And since uh, the input function always produces a string, we need to use the float function. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do math on the number. So we'll take whatever number they type in, assign it to the variable first number, and then the second number is 67. It's hard-coded as 67. It's never going to change. And then it's going to do the max function on whatever it is that they typed in, which is the first number. And then the second number is always going to be 67. And then here I've just hard-coded the third number in the, um, in the, uh, as the third argument. So as uh, I think we saw before, the arguments to a function could be hard coded in, or they can be variables either way. Either way, um, so it's going to find which of those numbers is the biggest and assign it to a variable called biggest, and then it will display that variable, uh, the value of that variable on the string. So let's go. So uh, let's go ahead and run that. Let's type in 25. Okay, the biggest number is 100. Uh, let's try again. Let's try um, 185. Now the biggest number is 185.0 because remember I took what I typed in and turned it into a floating point. Um, if I had used int instead, then and I, if I type in 185, then it doesn't show it with the decimal point. However, if I run this script and put in um, 165.3, it's going to throw an error because you cannot convert 165.3 into an integer.